Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about how to either do a reinstallation of Windows 10 Pro or a clean install of Windows 10 Pro if you have a Windows 10 Pro product key uh, on a system that has an embedded Windows 10 Home or Windows 8.1 Home product key. Typically when you insert your installation flash drive, which you will need a flash drive for this process here. Um, normally when you enter a flash drive and you launch Windows Setup, you, you actually do a um, you actually boot off the USB drive and you go to start Windows Setup it'll, it'll automatically select Windows 10 Home as your version because it detects a Windows 10 Home product key on the machine but it's obviously an issue when you have a Windows 10 Pro license and want to install Pro instead. So, I'm going to show you the workaround for that. So here we have this text file that you have to create. It's called PID. If you open it, here's the text file. PID.txt That right there is exactly what you would need to put in a text document. Pause. If you need to, more time to view. Okay, so that product you're looking at there is the Windows 10 default product key for Windows 10 Pro. So um, now, if you wanted to, you could probably put in. You could actually put in your own product key if you have a different product key. However, I just I just recommend using this default key, moving forward with installation, and then enter the product key when it's time to activate Windows after you've done the installation. But um, to help you, so what we'll do is we'll copy this file. and we'll need to place it on the Windows 10 installation media right click and choose open it's that, that way it won't launch the SEP utility so this particular flash drive here is set to be both 32 and 64 bit so the sources folder is there's actually two sources folders now if your installation flash drive is just for one architecture you'll have something like this so since I need to override the home product key on a machine on a 32-bit system we're going to go ahead and paste this in here and now we'll go ahead and boot the machine off this USB stick and see what we get. Wrong keyboard. <laughs> So we're going to let this load up. This will take a moment. We'll resume when it's done. Okay, everybody, now we've booted off the installation media. Let's see what happens here. She's installed now. <clears throat> the 
Let's look through the license terms and see if we can find Or at least on Windows 7, I remember back, back then you would see um, that it Windows 7 Home Premium, Windows 7 Professional, blah blah blah. Well, what we'll do now, we'll just install it and see what version we have. And we'll speed something up just a little bit here. Sometimes it's easier just to go to disk part and wipe the um, the hard drive if it has a whole bunch of partitions on it. As you see, we're now down to nothing. And we'll just let this install and we'll see what version of Windows we have when we're done. Okay, it's going to run through the setup or at least the iBox experience prompts. I went ahead and disconnected the Ethernet cable. Um, once we get past the user account creation, we'll plug it back in. Don't get so excited, Cortana. Turn all this crap off. Very first startup, <laughs> of course. <clears throat> Windows 10 is trying to do everything it can right now. It's trying to install the apps, update everything. Like, for example, install the, um, where you include set up the network, all that stuff. Oh yeah, look, hi, huh? Cortana. Nope. Then turn off.
notifications. And we have Windows 10 Pro. So anyways, that wraps up how to work around the um, built-in BIOS key when you're trying to install or reinstall Windows 10 Pro on a, on a machine that came pre-installed to Windows 10 Home. Hopefully this is helpful. Thanks for watching. Well guys, that's it for this one. But it doesn't have to be. There's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button. And if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so that we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel. It's CubeCompMTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling, and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you for your support.